As you recall in the past couple of training videos, we learned about the Track Changes feature where when you turn it on for a document, like my original here, Poem A, it'll keep track of any changes that anybody makes to that document in the color red, or whatever color you choose. Well, what if you forgot to turn that on, and you want to keep track or notice the changes that somebody makes to it? So if I send this off to uh, somebody, and then they send it back to me, and they forgot to turn on the track changes, instead of saving it and overwriting my original document, Poem A, I'm going to go ahead and save it as Poem B. So now I have my original, and then I have the copy that somebody made changes to. Well, what I could do, the long way, is to go ahead and open up Poem A, and then coming up here on the File tab and also opening up on my desktop over here, Poem B, double click, and I have two of them. You can see I've got a button down here, one for each window that's opened. I can click on this one, look at it, click on that one, look at it, and I'm just going back and forth getting really dizzy. Or I can come up here, click on the View tab, go to Arrange All, and it will split it into the top part of the screen's Poem B, and down at the bottom is the original Poem A. I can go ahead and scroll and scroll down and just look back and forth in between the two. And you can see right off the bat the title um, for Poem B, the change that was made. Instead of down in the original, there is no other way. Up here it says, there's no way. In any case, that can be very time consuming going back and forth. So instead, let me go ahead and close out of Poem B, maximize Poem A. We can use the compare or combine feature. Now they're pretty much the same, except that when it comes to combining, you can actually combine more and more documents. Where a compare, you can only compare two documents. Well, let me show you. Come up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Compare group, click on the Compare drop-down arrow, and there you go. Compare is two versions. Combining is two or more. And basically, they're both combining or merging the changes made into one document. So let's go ahead and start with just two versions, comparing. Click on that. Opens up a window and it says, okay, where's your original document? Go find it. So we click on the Browse button, and it's on the desktop here. Click on it. It's Poem A. Double click. There we go, Poem A. And then the revised document. Whoever made changes to the original document, but now it's a copy of the original. That's Poem B. You can either click on the Browse button or click on the drop-down arrow. If it's one of the most recent documents you've been looking at, go ahead and select it or just click Browse here. Opens it up again. And double click on Poem B. And then if you made a mistake like, oops, Poem B is the original or, and Poem A is the revised, instead of, you know, selecting these again, just go ahead and click the switch button and boom, there you go. Poem B is now the original and Poem A is the revised. Boom, there you go. Really fast, huh? Before I go ahead and click OK, you can click on the More button and you get a lot of options when it comes to the comparison settings. You can compare the moves, the comments that were made, you know, changes that you want to keep track of. And then down at the bottom, do you want to show the changes at character level or word level? Word level is easier for me. And then where do I want to show the changes in? A new document, the revised document, which is going to be this one right here. It will show the changes in there, or the original. I like it in the new document. That way, I leave the original and revised untouched. So if I want to go ahead and save the new document, it would be the third document. And again, it won't overwrite the original or the revised. So leave the defaults alone. Just go ahead and click OK opens up a new window. We have the comparison between these two documents, the original, you can see that up in the title bar here, and the revised. And then it shows all the differences between the two. And then up in the title bar, it's a new document. It has a generic name, Compare 1, because we haven't saved it yet. In any case, just like we learned in the previous training video, you can see all the changes here. You can accept or reject them by coming up here on the Review tab to the Changes group and clicking Next, going to the first change and saying, OK, do you like that? Deleting other way. No, I want to go ahead and reject that. Do you want it to have way? No, I want to reject that as well. And just keep going through that, okay? Pretty simple. You can also come over here in the review pane and click in there and make changes as well. Like where it says streaks, you can actually delete the S and then it will update it in the uh, compare document. Okay, you also have up here in the tracking group is the final show markup. You can hover over it, read more about it, but you can basically click on the drop down arrow and have the final show of the markups that have been changed to the document, or just show the final without the markups, what it would look like if you accepted all the changes, or you can click on the drop down arrow and go to original show markup, or finally what the original looked like before it actually had any markups, okay? Let's see, last couple of things here is you have the reviewing pane, which shows over to the left hand side. You can click on the drop down arrow, and have it horizontal at the bottom there, or you can just go ahead and close out of it and not see it all together, in which case I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and show the final show markup so I can see all the changes that the other documents have made into the compare document in the middle here and again accept or reject those changes 
Also, I can go ahead and close out of these other windows here, or just click on the Compare drop-down arrow, go to Show Source Documents, and instead of showing both the sources, the original and the revised document, I can say just go ahead and show the original. So I just have two windows, the comparison between the original and the revised, and then the original, or you know, click on the drop-down arrow, Show Revised. So the combination between the two, and then just the revised, or click on the drop-down arrow, you get the point. We can go ahead and show both, or hide the source documents, so we just have the one document here that's comparing both the original and the revised. That way I don't have my text scrunched here, and I can just look at the uh, comparison between the two, and again, go ahead and click Next, and accept or reject the changes. Reject, and let's see, change a boy to a dude. Well, we'll go ahead and reject that. Doesn't sound as fancy. We reject the changes. Okay. When we're done, all we have to do is go ahead and click on the Save button. Click on the desktop. You know, name it whatever I want to name it, and go ahead and click Save, and that's it. Let me go ahead and click Cancel and close out, and not save that, and go ahead and close out of Pome. So we're back to where we started. So we have our original, the revised one that somebody else made a change to, and then we have a copy of the original that somebody else another person, not the same person for Poem B, but another one for Poem C that made changes to it. So if I go ahead and open up Poem A again, and I go back to the Review tab, and I want to go ahead and compare, again, this only does it for two versions. If you try to do it for a third version, then what's going to happen is going to say, well, I can't handle all this, so I'll just go ahead and assume one of the documents here has already been accepted, all the changes, and just merge that in there. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Instead, I would go ahead and use the Combine feature. Let me show you. Click on Combine. It's the same window here, basically. All you have to do is go ahead and click on and find your original document, which is Poem A, double click. And of course, the Revise, click on it. We'll do Poem B again, and then go ahead and leave the defaults there and click Okie Dokie. It opens it up. Now, because I hid the source documents, the original and Revise, it's remembering that because Microsoft Word is still open. But I can go back and click on the Compare button, go down to Show Source Documents and say both, and then it opens it up, and there you go. That helps you to feel more comfortable. You can also come up here and click on the Reviewing pane so it displays it either below or to the uh, left-hand side here. So you can see here there's really no difference between the Combine and Compare, except when it comes down to looking at A and B and the differences between the two, and I also want to pull in a third document, C. Compare won't do it without some limitations, but Combine will happily go ahead and merge that in. So the title of the uh, document here is Combine 1 Results. So when I come back up here and I go down to Combine, the original document is now going to be Combine 1. It's combining these two A and B together, so I'll go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow because I haven't saved it yet, but it will display it in the most recent uh, documents list here. I just have to scroll down and look for Combine Results 1. There it is. Select it, and then go ahead and pull in Document or Poem C. Go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow, click Browse. There it is on the desktop, Poem C, double-click, and then go ahead and click OK. Now went ahead and it merged those changes that it found in document C into the combined one over here, and now we have a new window, it's combined four. So there's combined one with document C displaying the changes over here in the combined results four document. And again, you can go ahead and make changes over here if you like, add some text, delete some text, or better yet, what I like doing is closing out of here, and in fact, closing out of these others so I don't see that, but just see the results of everything that's been combined because that way I can see it in larger text without these other windows. And then going up here on the Review tab to the Changes group and going to Next, accepting, rejecting, you know, reject, and reject, and going through. And when you're finished, go ahead and be sure to save your work. Click on the Save button, save it to my desktop, and say this is um, Palm. Click Save. Going to go ahead and close out, and close out of these others here that I have opened. So on the desktop, I have my original. I have the copy of the original, Poem B, Poem C, that other people made changes to it. I use the Combine feature to combine, well, these two into one, and then to combine that one into these two to get the final one, Poem Revised. And if that's a lot to follow, then you want to go ahead and replay the video. I wish I could do it in slow motion, but I can't, so go ahead and play it back. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.